We're approaching the quarry and home system. ETA to Rannoch, five minutes. What have you got from the comm buoys? Pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. I have detected several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. Take us in, Joker. Stealth drive engaged. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem. with the Geth is a welcome addition, Tally. Edie. So... a body. It has proven useful. I hope it doesn't cause you concern. Not unless you go crazy and decide to overthrow the humans. If I decide to overthrow the humans, you will be the first to know. Shepard, there's a problem. All tubes except one are physically secured. I see the free one. Pretty torn up, though. Too risky for the whole team. I'll secure the docking area. Everyone else can follow me over. Roger that, Commander. We'll just stay here. You know, quietly. Hang tight. It'll just be a minute. Thank you, Shepard. I will try to find a more convenient docking point next time. Next time? Thank you for having me over. Well, I don't actually know where I'm going. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. In the meantime, take a look at this. There, it's open. We're clear to go. Watch out! Get incoming! The 
Dreadnought's operations center is just ahead. Good. Let's get the Reaper signal and get the fleet out of here. This ship design is almost quarian, but not quite. It's meant for synthetics, not organics. Intriguing. I found the geometric shapes intuitive and comfortable. I assumed you all felt the same. I can detect the faint presence of Geth intelligences. Those not loaded into mobile platforms serve in the ship itself. For all our cybernetic upgrades, I'll never understand integrating that completely into a system. Shouldn't be too much farther to the main battery. I appreciate what you're doing here, Shepard. Well, I care deeply about the Quarian people. It's good to be back on the Normandy. Let me know if it's too quiet for you to sleep, and I'll find you someplace louder. Hmm. You do not need to be circumspect. I am aware that you and Tally became physically intimate during the fight against the Collectors. Thank you. The main gun is offline. We're safe as long as the maintenance lock is in place. Let's move. we have the chance to free you from confinement. Shepard, wait. The Geth are being controlled by the Reaper signal. Right. This thing. So for all we know, Legion is with them. Maybe it sided with the Reapers voluntarily. Or maybe it's hacked. Legion helped us fight the Reapers before. There's no way it would have agreed to this. Your caution is understandable. Once free. We will submit to any restraints you deem necessary. That is extremely reasonable, Legion. Greetings, Edie. We did not expect you to gain license to operate a personal unit. I never thought I'd say this, but... It's good to see you again. Likewise, Creator Zora. So what is this thing? It uses our networking architecture to broadcast the old machine command signal to all Geth, simultaneously. Then getting you out of there will shut off the Reaper signal. Wait. You cannot simply remove the restraints. We are secured via hardware blocks nearby that shackle our operating protocols. I am familiar with the concept. The AI shackle Cerberus used to keep you under control. Yes. Used by organics, it is understandable. For Geth to install this in a formally independent unit is... unnecessary. The hardware blocks are on the far side of the room. <sighs> Got it. Tell Zora to fleet. The signal is about to go offline. This is Admiral Hangel. We're in your debt. Hardware blocks offline. We are free. <laughs> Dreadnought's drive core. All weapons and barriers are offline. Alert! Geth reinforcements incoming!
supposed to pull their fleet out safely. Instead... I know. Admiral Garrel's been causing trouble along the Turian border for years. But I can understand their desperation. We only lost Earth a few weeks back. We haven't lost Earth yet. We need help, Shepard. We need a fleet. And the Corians have the biggest one out there. I'll get it, Admiral. Your unilateral strike endangered us all. I should charge you with treason. I was within my authority as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet. And what of Shepard and Tali Zora? They escaped unharmed. Shepard, the mission parameters changed. You're military, you understand that. You did the right thing. Just give me a heads up next time. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad there's at least one other soldier in the room. I've got to get back to the Heavy Fleet. Ron. We'll talk later. Oshtet. You must understand. The Geth inflicted heavy casualties before you disabled the Reaper signal. You said they have a planetary defense cannon? Had. Admiral Corish sacrificed his own ship to destroy it. He crash-landed on the home world. The Normandy can assist with rescue efforts. Thank you, Commander. I think the worst is over. The Geth no longer possess the programming upgrades they had while enslaved by the Reapers. Shepard Commander, we are prepared to offer assistance. What the hell is this? Wait, wait. Everybody calm down. Its name is Legion. It helped me destroy the Collectors. The Reapers were using Legion like a signal booster to broadcast commands from the Dreadnought. We freed him. It. We freed it. This is a fascinating prototype. With some study, I may be able to use it to find a weakness in the Geth Consensus. Legion helped me in the fight against the Collectors. So did your pistol. Should I worry about its feelings? I don't think you want to continue this line of thought, Admiral. Legion is my friend. More importantly, it's our best source of information on the Geth. The scientific benefits... ...are off the table. What can you tell us about the Geth? How will they react without Reaper guidance? This is a false assumption. You have cut off long-range control, but the old machines placed a base on Rannoch for short-range direction. The Geth still have Reaper upgrades? Correct. They are currently disorganized, but once the short-range signal is in place, they will recover. Kila! I need to warn the fleet. Then, coordinate with Geralt. Move! We need to take out the Reaper base. Where's it located? Unknown. Find it. Understood. We do know the location of a server from which Geth fighter squadrons are controlled. The squadrons are targeting creator life ships. Disabling them will limit casualties. We offer assistance. Thanks. Good to have Tally back, even if it's just for a bit. Although every time you call her Miss Voss Normandy, I kinda expect to see her walking around with a tiara and a sash. As for the rest of the Quarians, though, are we okay with them blowing up a ship with you on it? We are not. Right. Just making sure. 
different standards and all. And you found Legion! He's still wearing that piece of your armor? Because that wasn't creepy at all. Shepard, the Get continue to block quarrying access to the mass relay. The Normandy stealth drive is allowing us to remain undetected. Right. We can hit the quarry in homeworld or get out of system whenever you want. Just let us know. Shepard Commander, you opposed Creator Admiral Zen's attempt to confiscate our platform. She's done enough already. Your assistance continues to be noted. Back on the Dreadnought, you mentioned Geth heretics. What exactly happened to them after we blew up that satellite? Your decision was sound. Deleting the heretics resulted in fewer Geth allied with the old machines. So you don't regret killing them? It was logical. If we had not deleted the heretics, we would face an increased number of hostile Geth platforms. Death holds different consequences for synthetics than organics. Do you harbor regrets about deleting the heretics? Maybe decisions like deleting heretic Geth were what turned your kind against organics in the first place. We do not condemn it. Action was necessary. It was why we sought your advice. What was interfacing with a Reaper like? The old machine took total control of our sensory equipment, our networking. Even then, we could not fully comprehend them. They are magnitudes above us. A single thought was immense, overwhelming, unknowable. You're making them sound godlike. Their forms are advanced but mundane. We do not view the old machines as analogs to deities. However, we have gained perspective on why others would imbue them with these qualities. The Geth have fought the Quarians before. What made this different? The Geth were building a megastructure to house all Geth, store all memories. It was to end our isolation from each other. And the Quarian flotilla attacked it? Yes. A significant amount of programs were installed when creators began bombing. We did not have sufficient surplus hardware to save them all. Some programs could not be recovered. Is that what made the Geth desperate enough to work for the Reapers? Yes. Imagine that for every one of your people lost on Earth, your own intelligence dimmed. The Creator's attack narrowed the Geth's perspective. Self-preservation took precedence. You were afraid you'd be wiped out. We do not experience fear as you would. But we have no desire to be exterminated. Even if the Reapers cost the Geth free will? That is evidently an acceptable trade. What did you do after you left the Normandy? Our physical platform returned to the Geth consensus beyond the Perseus Veil. Data gathered during our mission confirmed that the old machine's return was imminent. We planned for war. So the Geth believed your proof that the Reapers were coming back? Of course. That must have been nice. You say Geth fighters are targeting the Quarian's live ships? Hostile Geth fighter squadrons intend to breach the live ship's defenses. The assigned squadrons are networked to a server on Rannoch. If the live ships are damaged, the creators will lose armaments, provisions, people. So we destroy the server? No. Geth programs would transfer to alternate servers. They are only vulnerable through direct interface. Removing Geth from this server will prevent significant creator deaths. We will accompany you on this mission. We'll talk later. We will remain here. The Geth recovered faster than we'd hoped. If it hadn't warned us, they could have wiped us out. Sounds like you owe Legion an apology. However advanced your friend is, it's still a Geth. A Geth who just saved your fleet. And I wish I could have known it better. But right now, we cannot afford trust. What do you need? Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet per se. Just a few research vessels. Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the home world. You're not worried about her losing perspective given her interest in the Geth? If she can save our people, she can do whatever she wants. I'd like to know about your patrol fleet. 
In peacetime, the patrol fleet managed navigation, internal security, and intership conflicts or crimes. Now, we mostly guard the heavy fleet's flank. It's mostly light frigates or fighters. Tell me about the civilian fleet. Our civilian ships? Admiral Corris commands them. If he survived his crash landing on Rannoch. In peacetime, they made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, our strength would even give the Turians pause. Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But before we began this war, we jury rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships had cannons. Use what you've got. Indeed. With the modifications, our live ship cannons are comparable to the main guns on a dreadnought. Impressive. They lack the armor of a real dreadnought, but they can back the heavy fleet formidably when needed. What can you tell me about Admiral Geralt's heavy fleet? It was our main military force before the war, comprised of all Korean vessels suited for sustained combat. It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course, but we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Shepard, uh, Commander. So how did you end up back with your fleet, Tally? When the war started, the Admiralty Board asked for my help. I had more recent contact with the Geth than most of my people. They hadn't filled the spot on the board left by my father. I was invited in. It's just a technicality. I'm far too young to be a real Admiral. Don't sell yourself short, Tally. The board needed your expertise. You needed the authority that comes with rank. How did the war with the Geth get started, anyway? Admiral Zen developed a scanning countermeasure that interferes with Geth active scans. It's like a flashbang grenade. It effectively crippled the Geth ships in combat. My fleet couldn't pass up the chance to attack. Could we use it to fight the Reapers? It only works against the Geth, unfortunately. Their AI lets them use extremely detailed LADAR pings. Zen's countermeasure overwhelmed them with garbage data. And it's useless now that the Reapers have upgraded their processing power. How is it being back with the fleet? Right now, it's exhausting. I'm an admiral in the middle of a war. I just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. When this is over, I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. If we survive this, we'll have a homeworld. My people need me. You could help your people's homeworld by fighting the Reapers. I'd like to, believe me. But my people need me here. Talk to you later, Tally. Sure. Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachanka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Maws. That was a joke. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. The Reapers are more fallible than they proclaim. Despite its best efforts, the one on Tachunko was destroyed by a worm. This has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. You're worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. But I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? It's not that different from organic life. A free-willed synthetic chooses what it wants. But the purpose of organic life is to preserve itself long enough to replicate copies of its genes in succeeding generations. My purpose is not so clear. The other successful synthetic life forms that I have examined for comparison are the Geth. ...and the Reapers. Reproduction isn't all there is. 
We find meaning in the work we do. Good deeds we accomplish. Love. I see. I will search my files on the biographies of humans to see if prominent figures follow the pattern you suggest. It appears many humans did in fact do so. That was quick. <sighs> Gotta love quantum computing. Shepard, I will alter my processing power to give priority to your stated goals. Duty, altruism, love. Wait, wait, you're just gonna turn yourself good? Can you do that? It should take some time. If I have further questions, I will speak with you again. Thank you. <laughs>